All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to explain why fast internet, perfect audio, perfect video, why those things matter so much more in Vora Method than they do in a lot of other online education type programs. At Vora Method, let, let's talk about what actually makes Vora Method good. What makes Vora Method so good is that we can essentially make students do the things that work. Now, these aren't the things that students like. These are the things that get the job done. And there's two things that get the job done. The first, targeted repetition. Listen, sometimes a student says internally, subconsciously, oh, I guess I don't really need to know that. Now, that's not usually necessarily always a bad thing, but math and grammar and, and things that are a little bit more technical, it's pretty often a bad thing. Because the very things that students sort of mentally reject actually are also the very things that are the most crucial to their success. And so one of the things that we can do at Vora Method is have a student repeat a, a topic as many times as necessary, as, as necessary. So for example, suppose a student is having difficulty adding fractions with unlike denominators. At most places, they just kind of present the information and some students learn and some students don't. At Vora Method, we make sure every single student masters it. And one of the ways that we can do that is by having the student repeat that topic as many times as necessary. Now that's the first thing we do. Now the second thing we do is we have students work on challenge problems, which means keep working on a problem that you want to give up on that's hard, that's frustrating, that pushes you to its limit to and, and not give up on that. So that's the second thing we do at the Evora Method. So repetition and perseverance. And as you probably have guessed, these are very difficult for you know kids and teenagers to do. And so this is what a Vora Method class looks like in a, in a chart form. Uh, the student faces a lot of frustration. Listen, th think about this. When you, when you think about a pro the coach of a, pro of a professional sports team, how hard do they make the players work? Well, honestly, it's usually a hard enough to the, to the point where they're on the verge of throwing up, and sometimes they do throw up. Now, that might look like abuse or it might look like excellence, depending on your perspective, but in terms of world-class sports teams, it's excellence. And so over here at Vora Method, we push students to the limits, not physically, but mentally. We put people to their mental limits, to the highest level, whatever's the most frustration they can possibly take. That's how high we push it. So on one side of Vora Method, you have this very intense, uh, we're pushing you to your limits in every psychological way. You have to repeat stuff, which you know we kind of want to do as, as humans, and you have to struggle with the hard stuff. So these two things are just adding up. But at the same time in Vora Method, you have the kind of commentary and encouragement that makes it that makes it bearable and you know kind of keeps you going, right? So yeah, it's hard, but you also get the benefit. You get you get the encouragement. Now let's take a look at what happens if, say, we have a shaky internet connection, or the headphones aren't working, or the mic isn't working, or the camera's not working. So if your tech isn't working, here's what happens. First of all, you get more frustration, right? On one side, you're frustrated because the actual academic stuff is hard. You're repeating stuff that you feel like you don't want to have to repeat, and you're working on these problems that are so hard, they're just pushing you to your mental and academic and cognitive and psychological limits. Like at Vora Method, we push you to your absolute limit. That's how we get that excellence. That's how we get those amazing SAT scores, the huge improvements in math and reading and grammar, science and history, and multiple APs. That's how we do it, by pushing people to their limit. So you have the frustration, but now you have an additional frustration from your tech not working, right? So you have the, the difficulty frustration, and now this whole extra tech frustration. But guess what else? The other part, that commentary, encouragement, all that stuff, that's gone because you're not hearing it. You're, if, if, you're, if your uh, connection is sporadic, you don't hear encouragement. You hear like, uh, 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 and it's just, it's just irritating. I mean, nobody wants to listen to just a broken up audio. It's not encouraging. It's just frustrating. And then if you say something, also you can't be heard. So now that's frustrating. So when you don't have the audio at Vora Method at its absolute max, at the just so it's smooth, flawless, continuous audio using professional level audio and video equipment, when you don't have that, you have more frustration and less encouragement. Not because not because we're giving you less encouragement, it's because you can't access the encouragement because the connection's not fast enough. So that that really, really throws it off. And so it takes a class 
which is normally fairly balanced, something like this, where you the difficulty is balanced out by the encouragement to something that is just absolutely terrible, which is something like this, where you have more frustration and less encouragement, less connection, less of that human connection. So it's really critical. I know a lot of you guys have done a lot of online other things, you know, Khan Academy or, or whatever, and you've been able to do it with really shaky internet connections and whatnot. But at Vora Method, you need to have that smooth, continuous audio, video, with the noise cancellation, all that kind of stuff. You need to have that to really be able to get the amazing benefits of a high-intensity program like Vora Method.